So the audio in this clip is really bad. We're just talking about watching Whitney's vlogs because I was really backed up on them. Like I hadn't watched them for a while. So yeah, that's basically what I was doing in this clip. So apparently the barista thinks my name is Hallie. So welcome to my channel, Hallie M Books. So yeah, that's my new username, guys. Um, I'm rebranding. My name is now Hallie. So only call me by Hallie, thanks. I'm on page 432. <laughs> Literally, this book has made me cry like so many times. I just, I love this book. I, I feel like this is the reason why I haven't been reading this book is that I keep getting so emotional over it. So it's just like, it's like so hard for me to read it because I just keep crying like I was reading this after work today and I was like sobbing <laughs> because of Jem and Tessa <laughs> I love my babies this is like one of my all-time favorite series now it's just so good I love these characters so much like so much more than the Mortal Instruments characters like these are my babies, they're my children, I love them. Oh my gosh, I just, it's just too much for me. So I went to Walmart and I got Queen of Air and Darkness because I literally could not help myself. I had to like not buy it at Target the one time I saw it because I just like, I had to just stop myself. And then I saw it here at Walmart and so I just couldn't, I literally could not stop myself. And so pretty on the inside so nice I just love this it's so freaking pretty and gorgeous and I love it so much it's so cool and yeah so I just I kind of like just really wanted to buy this and it's really funny because I think like at the beginning of this year I think that's when it was or like I don't know just a long time ago Sometime this year, I had a dream about this book, like, and I, I so vividly remember it because I'm like, oh, I really want to get this book in my dream, and now I have it, so and this is actually kind of the reason why I started reading this series, because I had the dream about this book, being really excited about it, and so I'm like, you know what, let me give her books a try again, and I don't really want to read The Mortal Instruments, so I decided I didn't, like, want to continue with that series. So I just skipped to this one, and I am freaking in love with it. I'm currently on the third book, obviously. I am 20 pages in, and I am loving it so, so, so much. And I also have Lady Midnight in the paperback edition. And I don't really mind if my editions are different, like if I have paperback and hardcover, like a mixed, for you know, whatever. It doesn't bother me. So I figured I'd just, you know, get this one. And I love the inside of it so much, I couldn't pass it up, so... Yeah, I'm so excited to have this book now, even though I'm not even any work. Well, I'm actually, I'm getting closer to getting in Lady Midnight. After I finish this book, I'll start reading Lady Midnight and then Lord of Shadows and then obviously this book. So I just need to buy Lord of Shadows. I don't have that book yet. So we'll have to get that soon. Also, I started listening to the audiobook for I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara. And I'm thinking that after I finish that audiobook, I'm going to have to take a break from true crime anything because I'm starting to get like that paranoia that I get sometimes when I've like listened to too much like true crime stuff. So I really need to like chill down on like that whole genre and give myself a break and 
then maybe get back into it because your girl just has a lot of anxiety and paranoia issues. So it's just better if I kind of take that down a notch or two because I'm really loving My Favorite Murder. It is such a good podcast and I love true crime. I find it so interesting and I love to like learn about it, but I also get really, really bad paranoia and anxiety over it as well. So it, you know, it like causes me to not sleep. So yeah, um, probably need to, you know, stop doing that. Um, but yeah, so I'm really enjoying I'll Be Gone in the Dark. It's about the Golden State Killer. And it's written by Michelle McNamara. She died, I think, two years ago. And her husband was Patton Oswalt. So, yeah. Um, really enjoying it. Totally recommend it so far. It is just really good. It's just, yes, I love it. Also, I have an arc of The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chokshi. And I'm so excited about this one. It's so pretty. This cover is just freaking gorgeous. And as you guys know, this was on my most anticipated list. So... I'm really excited to read this ASAP. I think that after I finish Clockwork Princess, I'm going to start this book because I just like am so excited about it and I really want to finish it before it's published and that is the 15th of January. So I really want to get this book done. Okay, so the mail just got dropped off. Also, the TV is way too loud. Let me turn that down. Okay, so the mail just got dropped off and I'm hoping that my package is here, but who knows, because I've been really confused about where it is, what's going on with it. So let's go get that bread. I think I got my package, I'm really excited. Okay, so I've secured the bag, it is in my hand. I'm pretty sure that this is my package. And it's so funny because I just like, yesterday sent them an email, the USPS, I sent them an email being like, um, this package says it was delivered like three or four days ago. I don't see it, bitch. So I think I just got my package. <laughs> trying to open up this freaking package. Also trying to like block out my kitchen because it's disgusting. <gasps> Yay! Yes, so excited. <laughs> Gorgeous, so pretty. Yeah, this is definitely really cute. It's definitely a lot more comfortable than like the normal ones, but it's a little small is the only issue, but it's really cute. So this is definitely going to be mini ears that like I can wear them when I go, but I'm either going to have to like secure them somehow or I'm going to have to like take them off constantly. So, but they're really cute. They're super comfortable and I really like the color of them. They're not like the like best made product in the freaking world, but it'll work for what I need it to do. So I'm really happy that this actually came in the mail. So food time and also I'm going to be watching some YouTube and yeah I also want to clean my room today and do all that stuff so that might happen as well. <laughs> I love these babies. They're so cute. I love them. Oh, uh -huh. 
Do you want me to start the vlog now? Yeah. So me and my mom are out and we got Starbucks and there's her Starbucks. <laughs> And we also got lunch and we went to Ulta and Tilly's and the band store and we're just waiting for my brother now. So, yep, it's Saturday. Still haven't gotten a tree. Shh, don't tell everybody. <laughs> Too bad it's going in the vlog, so oh. now everyone knows. That's the tea. <laughs> So I am at Chaucer's and this is one of my favorite bookstores. They have a signed first edition of A Very Large Expanse of Sea and I kind of want to get it. I'm so tempted. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm going to get actually. I know I want to get something but I just don't know what. <sighs> Too many choices. But this is one of my favorites because they have a lot of books that like normal like Barnes & Noble like wouldn't have. So this is like a really good bookstore for those kind of like random under the radar books oh my god I wasn't even filming that so it's between these three and this one's actually a signed copy so I have A Winter's Promise, The Brilliant Death, and Shadow of the Fox so one of these three so I am just in the car waiting for my mom she's in Sprouts and I ended up getting this book, Shadow of the Fox by uh, Julie Kagawa. And I got the signed copy, which is really cool. That's pretty much like the only reason I ended up buying a book because a lot of, you know, I'm always like, oh, it's like cheaper on like Book Depository or Amazon or whatever. And this one is a signed copy. So, I mean, where else am I going to get that? So, signed copy life. They had actually a lot of signed copies at my local bookstore which was really nice um sorry i'm like blocking the light anyway so yeah i got this book super excited also let's see if i can open this up to where you can see the signed there it is yes so yeah that's just what i'm doing just hanging out in the car saturday night have my book yes also i'm listening to the afterlife of holly chase on uh scribd because i just got like i just downloaded it yesterday because i really want to read that book so um so far so good pretty much i really like it um i love unlikable characters so i'm really loving this and it's like how do you like unlikable characters they're supposed to be unlikable i just do i really enjoy reading about unlikable protagonists they're just like really interesting and exciting and different and yeah so I'm super excited about this one I read the first page in Chaucer's and girl it sounded real good um so yeah I'm really excited I'm so excited so I noticed that I didn't actually end this vlog so you're getting me in bed while I'm editing yes bitch yes but um yeah so um end of the vlog you know that's fun and yeah i will see you guys in my next vlog and that one is going to be from like today <laughs> and until next sunday i guess or the sunday next sunday whatever but yes two more days till christmas but i have to work those two days so you know you wish you were me <laughs>